Hi all, welcome to another video of NS Pharma. Today we will see important multiple choice questions from the pharmacology, uh, the chapter antifungal drugs. Antifungal drugs, from this chapter we will see important multiple choice questions. These questions are very helpful for the preparation of the competitive exams, pharmacist competitive exam. So you have to study these uh, uh, questions very well and also you try to cover the chapter also in detail. The first question, we will move the first question. In addition to fungi, amphotericin B is active against the following pathogen. In addition to fungi, amphotericin B is active against the following pathogen. Option A, anaerobic bacteria. Option B, giardia. Option C, leishmania. Option D, rickettsia. We know that amphotericin B is an antifungal medicine. So here the question asks, what is the extra advantage of uh, amphotericin B other than the fungi, antifungal medicine? Uh, the correct answer for this question is option C. It is useful in case of leishmania infection also. Now the second question, the polyene antibiotic acts by. Polyene antibiotic is a class of antifungal medicines. Uh, we will see the classification in the last section of this video. Once the MCQ is over, we will discuss that one. The classification of antifungal uh, uh, medicines. These are very important for the examination point of view. Now we will see the polyene antibiotic acts by option A inhibiting fungal cytochrome P450 enzyme, option B binding to ergosterol and creating micropores in the fungal cell membrane, option C inhibiting fungal DNA synthesis, option D disorienting microtubules in the fungal cells. The correct answer for this question is Polyene antibiotic acts by binding to ergosterol and creating micropores in the fungal cell membrane. That is the correct answer for this question. Now we will move the third question. The most important toxicity of amphotericin B is the most important toxicity of amphotericin B is options are nephrotoxicity, option B neurotoxicity, option C hepatotoxicity, option D bone marrow depression. The correct answer for this question is nephrotoxicity. Amphotericin B, the most important toxicity is nephrotoxicity. The fourth question indicate the antifungal antibiotic which is used intravenously for systemic mycosis. IV antifungal antibiotic which is used IV intravenous, intravenously for systemic mycosis option A griseofulvin option B nystatin option C amphotericin B and option D hamycin the correct answer for this question is amphotericin B question number 5 griseofulvin is indicated in Griseofulvin is indicated in options are all type of tinea infection, option B oncomycosis, option C pityriasis vesicola, option D both B and C. Griseofulvin indication. The correct answer for this question is oncomycosis, that is option B oncomycosis. Griseofulvin is indicated in case of oncomycosis. Now, the sixth question, select the antifungal drug which is administered only by the oral route. The antifungal drugs which is administered only by the oral route. Option A, amphotericin B. Option B, ketoconazole. Option C, griseofulvin. Option D, tolnaftate. The correct answer for this question is griseofulvin. Griseofulvin tablets are available in the market. So, this is administered through the oral route only. Now, the seventh question. The most probable mechanism of action of imidazole antifungal drug. This is also another class of drugs. Imidazole antifungal drugs. In that, imidazole drugs, there are medicines like iconazole, ketoconazole, meconazole, clotrimazole, all are coming under this imidazole antifungal drugs. We will discuss in the last section. So, the question is, mechanism of action of imidazole antifungal drug. Options are they bind to ergosterol in the fungal cell membrane and make it leaky. Option B, they interfere with ergosterol synthesis by fungi. Option C, they interfere with fungal mitosis. Option D, they block oxidative phosphorylation in the fungi. 
the correct answer for this question the mechanism of action of an imidazole antifungal drug is they interfere with ergosterol synthesis they will interfere with ergosterol synthesis by fungi the correct answer is option b option b is the correct answer for the mechanism of action of imidazole antifungal drug now eighth question which antifungal agent is effective in both dermatophytosis as well as systemic mycosis in both cases that is dermatophytosis as well as systemic mycosis the drug the antifungal agent option a amphotericin b griseofulvin clotrimazole ketoconazole ketoconazole is the correct answer ketoconazole will act is effective in case of both dermatophytosis as well as systemic mycosis ketoconazole now the ninth question adverse effect of ketoconazole include the following except option a gynecomastia option b oligosuspermia option c kidney damage option d menstrual irregularities what is the i mean uh, the question was adverse effect of ketoconazole include the following except so the correct answer for this question is option c kidney damage ketoconazole does not cause kidney damage why it causes gynecomastia then oligosuspermia another one is uh, menstrual irregularities in case of women Tenth question: Choose the azole antifungal drug, which is used only topically. Topically, antifungal drug, azole antifungal drug, which is used only topically. Option A: ketoconazole. Option B: fluconazole. Option C: itraconazole. Option D: iconazole. The correct answer for this question, which is iconazole. Iconazole is the topically used azole antifungal drug, which is only used topically. 11th question fluconazole offers the following advantages over ketoconazole fluconazole offers the following advantages over ketoconazole option a it is longer acting option b its absorption from the stomach is not dependent on gastric acidity option c it produces few fever fewer side effects it produces fewer side effects option d all of the above fluconazole, fluconazole offers the following advantages over ketoconazole the correct answer is all of the above that is fluconazole is longer acting and it produces fewer fewer side effects as compared to ketoconazole and we know that ketoconazole causes oligosuspermia then menstrual irregularities then uh, gynecomastia this one we all discussed in the uh, last year uh, not in the last uh, ninth question here fluconazole offers all of the above that is its absorption from the stomach is not dependent on gastric acidity these three options are correct that's correct answer is option d now 12th question Select the drug that is fungicidal and acts by inhibiting fungal squalene epoxidase enzyme fungicidal drug which acts by inhibiting fungal squalene epoxidase enzyme option a ketoconazole option b terbinafine option c tolnaphtage and option d harmicin question was select the drug that is fungicidal and acts by inhibiting fungal squalene epoxidase enzyme this mechanism of action of fungal and fungal drugs are very important the question will come they are asking the mechanism of action otherwise they will give the mechanism of action and i will ask which is the uh, antifungal drug which uh, follows this mechanism so this antifungal drugs mechanism as well as their their uh, is very important mechanism of action is very important so you have to study very well that one so here this question is fungicidal which acts by inhibiting fungal squalene epoxidase enzyme the correct answer for this question is option b terbinafine terbinafine is the correct answer now 13th question 
the following drugs are effective in systemic mycosis except option a and terbinafin option b etraconazole option c ketoconazole option d fluconazole the correct answer is terbinafrin terbinafin it is not effective in case of systemic mycosis so these are the important multiple choice questions from this uh, chapter that is antifungal medicines antifungal drugs now we will see the classification of antifungal drug this is also important one first class antibiotics antibiotics this is again classified into one is polyene antibiotic polyene antibiotics uh, the examples are amphotericin B, amphotericin B, then nistatin, hamycin, all are coming under this one, nistatin, hamycin. Now the second option, option B, uh, heterocyclic benzofuron, heterocyclic benzofuron, heterocyclic benzofuron. The example are, example is griseofalvin. Grisio Falvin. Grisio Falvin is the example for this category. Heterocyclic benzofuron. Polyene and heterocyclic benzofuron coming under the antibiotic. Now the second option, anti-metabolite. Anti-metabolite. The second category of uh, antifungal drug. Example is flucytosine. Flucytosine is an example for this one. Next one of uh, third category is azoles. Azoles. Azoles are of two types. One is imidazole. Imidazole category. Imidazole. Examples are clotrimazole, econazole, then miconazole, ketoconazole. All are coming under this category. Imidazole category. Now the option B, the uh, second category is triazole. Triazoles. Examples are fluconazole, hydraconazole, voriconazole. Imidazole and triazole. Then fourth option, allylamines. Allylamine. Example is terbinafin. Terbinafin is coming under this one. Allylamine. Then other topical agents, some other topical agents like uh, tolnaftage, then benzoic acid, undesylenic <coughs> acid, then uh, butinafin. All are used as antifungal medicines. So this is uh, the classification, they are classified into antibiotics, then anti-metabolites, azoles, then allylamines and other medicines, tropical agents. So thank you guys for watching this video, uh, we will see in the next video soon, thank you.